scripture it's in Isaiah 11 2. It says that the spirit of the Lord will rest upon you more than ever before. And the spirit of wisdom and more understanding with the wisdom will be applied. And I also see that the spirit of counsel and might, you were made to withstand the things that were coming at you. But there's a group of people that are standing behind you that believe this is one nation under God. And they stand with you. So I decree and declare that right now. And this other thing I see, this is just a prophetic act. If you could just put your hand, to, yes, if you could. In your left hand, I see generosity. America has been very generous in the years before. But so there came a time when we did not know where all this a lot of stuff went. But with your other hand as stewardship, we will be able to generate and have generosity enough for this nation and enough for other countries. And because we were called to be a blessing to all nations. So I decree and declare that generosity and stewardship because God has been placed in you the stewardship of heaven to guide this nation. I decree and declare that over you right now. And see, come on, let's give up for it. Good morning, Mr. President Trump. It's good to see you again. At 4.30, the Lord said to me, I am going to give your president a second win. president again. And a win that when an athlete is running a marathon, there's such a thing as a second win. Where you come to a point where you have no energy. I'm an athlete, so I know. You have no energy. I was anyways. <laughs> um, I, you have no energy and you feel like you have no strength. But all of a sudden, the, 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 the lungs of this athlete has been trained in high altitudes yeah and because of that it's the athlete is able to get so much energy that it's amazing wins the and at least finishes and you know finishes the marathon this is what the Lord's saying he says he has made your 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 lungs your body your spirit your strength he has made it in such a way that you have been trained in such high pressured places in the last four years and even before that and the Lord said he is ready for the next four years and I'm giving him a second win to say that. and there's also this a second win if you add D it's the Holy Spirit and the Lord showed me today he showed me today that you were coming to get a second win of a second uh, another infilling of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit makes you able to finish take this to the end Mr. President and then he said to me that you were the apple of his eye and that's what we are friends we're the apple of his of his eye and that he's protecting you like he is protecting the ancient foundations of our nation God wants to be in the middle of our nation and then I believe this is it right here I believe that this is what's happening there might have been a little bit of a setback but that was nothing it was a setup for the comeback and a double win I decree and declare that right now so we bless you, Mr. President. We bless you. Lift up your hands and extend. Just go on. Why don't you pray for our president right now? Just pray. Yes. Mr. President, just step right there. Come on, church, pray. Come on, church, pray. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mr. President. Second Corinthians 2.14 says. I give God thanks who always leads me in triumph, who diffuses the fragrance and knowledge of in every place. That word there, always, it didn't say if or but, but it said always leads you in triumph. I believe right now, as we start to pray right now, you're going to have that second wind like Pastor Denise just prophesied, but everyone that's connected to you is going to go into a new winning era. So I decree and declare right now. Come on, start to pray with me. Father, we just thank you for our president. Yes. And his wife, his entire family, 
and Vice President Pence and his entire family. Father, we bless them. We bless them. With the, even again, Isaiah 11, 2, may the Spirit of the Lord rest upon them. The Spirit of wisdom and of understanding and of counsel and might. And Lord, the fear of the Lord, because he loves you. He said the other day, Jesus Christ is the most popular person on the earth. So we decree that. Yes. In Jesus name. And Mr. President, because you said that and you honor the Lord, you did. You honored the Lord, the Lord there and you said he's your boss. I believe that you came here today, yes, for a second win, but for a double portion. We came here for double portion, and only God can double that up. Do you understand? We can't do that for you. God does that so that you can have, um, you can defeat 10,000 instead of 1,000. Because when two come in agreement, so you're coming in agreement with the family of God. Yes, that's right. And so we're saying that now there's an army that we'll, we will we'll take this to the end. So we just bless you, and we thank you, Father. Yes. Come on. Everybody, so we bless you, President Trump. Come on, release a blessing on him. And on his whole staff. And on the Secret Service. And on our police department. Come on, just say, Lord, we bless him. We bless him. We remove all the arrows that have been put against him. And we bless this man. We bless this princess. The First Lady, we bless her. Health and wholeness on his kids. God, we bless this whole family. We're going to sing this one more time before we're seated. I want you just to invite heaven now because the bottom line is heaven wants to invade your life. The king of heaven, the king of kings and the Lord of lords wants to invade your life and fill you with overflowing just as he's filling our president. Are you ready? Come on, Christine. Sing it, baby. So that we're not, the Bible says that some trust in chariots 
and some trust in horses, but we'll trust in the name of the Lord our God. Father, we're not full of religion. We're full of a relationship with Jesus Christ and your spirit. So we invoke your spirit. It's an invocation. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill us and empower us. Every one of us here. Everyone here is a VIP. Everyone here is chosen by God. So we declare this in Jesus' powerful name. Somebody say amen. Can you look at someone and tell them how much I'm good looking they are, how awesome they are, and, and how beautiful they are, and how awesome they are? Come on. Go ahead. I want my, my mentor, Dr. David Lim, to come up here. It's so good to see all of you here on a Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And, of course, our president, if I can have that table up here. It's so great. Thank you, Pastor Pasquale. How many love Pastor Pasquale? And Norm is preaching somewhere in the great northwest somewhere. Yes, he's preaching in Washington State. She's amazing. Uh, and also my princess Denise. Can you give my bride a big hand, please? Good to see all of you here on this beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah. I, I believe there's some here that are probably here for the first time. Absolutely. Just wave your hand. Let us know. We just here for the to... first time. Yeah. Awesome, you Come guys. Come on, let's reach Welcome. out and say hello to people. Let's be friendly in this place. Yes, it's good to have you here. What an honor to have our president here with us and all of you. Let me tell you, this is awesome. We love doing life here with all of you at ICLV in Las Vegas. And you know what? We're, uh, we just want to let you know that God's doing something really amazing here. And, and uh, we're in relationship. I've been married to this princess for 40 years. So she's not even 40 years old, which is kind of amazing. Right. So Squall's been my friend for 20 years, and he's been my mentor since 1980. So that's 40 years. So Dr. David Lim is one of the Bible scholars in the world and a tremendous church planter, planted 1,800 churches around the world, and he's my mentor. He's my friend. He was my Bible school dean of students. And he kind of took me under his wing and spoke into my life. So uh, if you could all take a seat for a moment, we're going to receive the Lord's tithes and offerings. And you're watching online. There's thousands of people, Mr. President, watching online right now. And I think they're touched for the fact that you just came to church. Not because you wanted to speak, although I would hand you the microphone right now. But because you came to church just to experience. This is your third time here. That means you're a church member. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't care what anybody says. I love my president. I, I really do. I, I do have to say this. The last time that you came, uh, you came twice in 2016 in this church, in this building. But you came to church, and I was happy to be preaching. Yeah. I sat, you, sat there with you. You, I was right there next to you, and uh, we had a conversation that totally impacted my life and I just wanted to thank you you just asked me a bunch of questions you yeah. were very interested and um, and then you said do you love what you do and I said yes and he and you and you said you looked at me in the eyes and you said you're doing a really good job up there you have no idea I did not have one ounce of intimidation coming up and doing my job up here. I just want to thank you. I want to ask you a question. Do you love your job? Yeah. You love your job? Picture of what's going on. That's the text to give. Uh, you can write a check. You can put cash in. Some people even put gambling chips in the offering plate. I'm not kidding. Uh, I'm really not kidding. Uh, but really, when you give, we're able to make a difference. Right now, we're feeding about 25,000 people a month in our city. Because, Mr. President, we went to about 28, 29% unemployment in our city, in our Clark County. And because of that, we just have cars lining up. And then every Friday, we give away to 30 other churches and organizations. We just give them food, and we give them food, and we give them food. And I want to just tell you something. The only way we can do that is by your generosity. The only way that we can keep doing what this church is doing 
is because you guys give. And so I want to bring up my mentor, Dr. David Lim. Could you receive the Lord's offering? Because it's really giving not only to his church, it's giving to the Lord. So Dr. Lim, would you, your scripture on your heart, whatever's in your heart, because you're my, you're my mentor. Do whatever you want. The Lord shared with me the word stewardship. You know, Paul the Apostle thought very highly of stewardship. Stewardship of his calling and ministry. Stewardship of the mysteries, the truths of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then there's the stewardship of giving as well. And if in my 55 years of full-time ministry, I think in my stewardship, one of the keys to effectiveness was focus. And, and right now, my wife and I are laser focused on what ICLV can do because of what it is already doing for the kingdom of God. I believe in the vision of ICLV. Let's pray. Let's believe God that our vision will even expand and extend and do more effectively than ever before. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for the privilege of being part of this great work right here at ICLV. Help us, Lord, to hear the calling of God on our lives. And help us, Lord, to focus on what we can do best in this time of trial. In Jesus' powerful name, amen and amen. Praise God. And the buckets are going to go around the aisles. Go ahead and give as the Lord leads your heart.